now by Republican Congressman Tom Tiffany, who is in Washington. And thanks very much for being here. Yeah, good to be with you again, Frederica. So I know you're far away, but you'll be home soon. What is your reaction to the mask mandate ordered by Governor Evers? Um, I trust my friends and neighbors to do the right thing. And uh, I think Governor Evers should trust them also. You know, I think about small businesses and others. They, uh, some of them have mask mandates and um, you get to choose whether you get to go into that business or not. And uh, I just think Governor Evers should trust um, the people of Wisconsin to make the right decision for themselves. And I think he's focusing on the wrong issues. I mean, when you have statues being torn down at the Capitol, the Capitol nearly being harmed a few weeks ago, as well as unemployment compensation claims not being taken care of by the Evers administration. Some people have not gotten their checks from months ago. We're hearing about foreclosures, people losing their vehicles. I think Governor Evers has more important things that he should be focused on. And I want to talk about some of those things in a moment, but um, Dr. Deborah Burks of the White House Coronavirus Task Force told states that they should impose mask mandates, uh, especially in the midst of these surges. So, so what about that kind of messaging from the White House? So I think that um, Governor Evers should work with the legislature. I mean, the legislature has been offering to work with them throughout this whole process, including when the Supreme Court interceded back in May. And uh, they made it clear, go work with the legislature. That's what Governor Evers should do. Do you personally wear a mask indoors or, or when you cannot distance? Um, I do wear a mask, like I'm out in D.C. right now. Whenever I'm uh, walking the halls, going in to vote, things like that, I wear a mask. Uh, as to unemployment, which we were speaking about just a moment ago, what is your position on whether the extra $600 a week in unemployment benefits should be extended in the next federal coronavirus package? Yeah, that's one of the key questions that's before us out here in Congress. And I think you're seeing um, the Senate leadership, along with um, the House leadership led by uh, House Speaker Pelosi, that's really what they're talking about. And Speaker Pelosi wants to extend the $600 um, add on for unemployment. But when you think about the numbers, I'm not sure that's the best route to go. Because when you look at unemployment in Wisconsin, the base unemployment is $9.25 an hour. It's an equivalent to that. When you add the $600 bonus on to that, that's another $15. A person would be making nearly $25 an hour being on unemployment. Now, I think most people just want to go to work, but I think un unemployment shouldn't be that rich. I mean, if you take a look at a couple, if a couple is both on unemployment, they're making the equivalent of $100,000 a year with that $600 add-on. Employers are telling us we need employees and it's time we built that bridge with the um, enhanced unemployment. Now it's time to ratchet that back. What about aid to state and local governments? Do you think that Wisconsin should see additional money from the feds? Well, they've already received additional dollars. So in the CARES package from a few months ago, $2 billion was allocated to the state of Wisconsin. And that was uh, for Governor Evers. The governors were given sole authority over it, and they were able to distribute those dollars. And I think the federal government was very generous in giving that $2 billion to Wisconsin. And Governor Evers can allocate that as he chooses to, whether it's schools, local governments, and others. Uh, let's turn to this. As a member of the House Judiciary Committee, you had occasion, as we said this week, to question Attorney General Bill Barr. Now, you asked him to stop the riots in places like Madison. Would you support bringing in federal police agents to do that, including those uh, that are coming into uh, Milwaukee, for example? It would be preferable that federal agents do not come in. However, if there's federal buildings, federal property that is being damaged, then the federal government has a duty to go in and protect those properties. It's like Portland at that federal courthouse out there. They have a duty to protect, and that's what they're doing out there. So if it's federal assets, they should be protected by the federal government. Uh, Representative Gohmert announced that he tested COVID positive following that hearing before the Judiciary Committee. Uh, do you expect to be tested because of uh, any contact you had with him? Yeah, I talked to the House uh, physician in regards to that, and I was not um, uh, within Representative Gomer for 15 minutes, uh, within six feet for 15 minutes. So they said just closely monitor, 
You do not have to test. I'd be happy to take a test any time, but the house physician said it's probably not necessary. Just monitor, and that's what I'm doing. Well, what is it like to be in the midst of a, a busy city, uh, Capitol Hill, uh, and, and people are, are getting sick, and, and you know you, you all are doing your jobs and flying back and forth? Uh, what is that like? Yeah. So make sure that you keep yourself safe. You make sure that you distance as a, uh, appropriately. The airlines have tough restrictions in place. They require masks whenever you're on a plane in an airport. So those things are all happening to make sure that we protect our health. And then I just think the most important thing is we all need to be aware. We as individuals have a responsibility. And that's the most important thing that we can all do is take responsibility for our health. Congressman Tom Tiffany, thanks very much. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it was good to be on today, Frederica. Thank you.